Next up we have the brush panel right here. Then I work with this panel, you have to be working with a brush. So I'm going to click over here on our brush, choose the brush tool right there. Now this shows me all of the different settings for this brush tool. You see right there, we're at 54 on our size right here, hardness of 100. You get the same information right over here. Here's your 54 pixels right there. There's the size. Slider control right here is the same as the slider control right there. Hardness right here is the same as the hardness right down there. These are all preset brushes. Over here you can choose from these different preset brushes. And that's the same set we have over here on the right hand side. Same exact set. So what's in here is mostly what's over here. Actually this is kind of a subset of what's over here. We have more options available to us in here. For instance, I can change the shape of the brush by grabbing these dots in here and collapse or expand the brush just like that. I can grab the arrow and I can change the angle of the brush in here. I can flip the brush just like that, X or Y position. Just different ways of working with the brush and getting just the effect that you want or the brush that you want to work with. Now along with that we have a lot of options over here and we have a brush presets button right there. The brush preset button brings up all these different presets. We'll be looking with this and playing with these in the next video. This lets us also look at a sample stroke taken from that brush. Notice as I roll over these, get this kind of an enlarged view over here of what that brush looks like. That's a new feature here inside of Photoshop CS5, that little brush preview thing in there. This gives you a better idea of the kind of a brush that it is and the kind of a line that will come in. Very useful for the painter types. Go back here to the brush again. Now you can choose one of these presets up here a little preset list and you then can come down and modify or adjust that. We can change the end of the brush right here from a round point to a blunt point to a curve to an angle, flat point, all kinds of options in there. We can adjust the bristles, the length, thickness, stiffness, and angle. So just a ton of adjustments here for the bristle length of that brush. We also can come in and add additional things such as shape dynamics. We can add some jitter into this. You can see right down below here as I add in some jitter. We can put in controls here if you want to. Pen pressure, pen tilt, stylus wheel. On any of these things you can add in controls. Allowing you to do a little more control of how this brush behaves. You can put in a scattering effect in there. This kind of scatters it out. Add a texture effect. We can do a dual brush using two brushes at once in here. Let me just hide some of those things. We can add color dynamics into this if we want to. Do a foreground background. We can add in a noise effect if we want to. We can add in a wet edges. It kind of softens that up. Make it work more like an airbrush airbrush tool, protect the texture, and so forth. So there's a lot that can be done in here to control the brush type. Once you have done that, let's just collapse that. See up there, there's the brush. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to come into our layers. Let's hide a couple of these layers and let's bring in a new layer up here. I'm going to fill this layer. Let's just set this back to the defaults and let's fill this layer with a paint bucket all white. There we go. Go back to our color and this grab just kind of a basic blue color. Go back to our brush. You can see there's the brush that we're using. I can collapse that thing. And there's that brush stroke right there. Notice how the brush stroke is applying all those different effects that we set up inside of our brushes. Let's bring the brushes back up again. Here we go. Let's just change this one. Let's change this to a 
flat point. Let's increase the bristle. Let's increase the length a little bit and the thickness. Decrease our stiffness a little bit. Just making a few changes in here on the shape of the brush tip. Let's come back down here now and there you go. Notice how the painting effect is totally different now by changing those different settings. So you just have a huge range of adjustments on these different brushes. Anything you want to do, you can do with these brushes. In most cases, you, you'll want to just stick with one of the presets up here. Maybe give it just a small adjustment down below. But there's a lot that you can do. On our brush presets, let's take a look at these. And actually, I'm going to just set this back to a default. Let's make a new layer here and hide that layer. And I'll fill this layer again with white. It was a nice clean background. And let's choose a new color in here. Choose kind of medium green to something different. There we go. Let's go back here to the brush presets now. And let's find a basic brush. I have to be in our brushes. There we go. Back to our brush tool. Now our brush presets will work for us. So here's our standard brushes. And as I move down the list, there's the brushes that have actual brush tips on them. If we move down below that, we begin getting some texture brushes in here. On down below that, we have some specialty brushes. Here's a star brush, for instance. It actually brushes in stars based upon your initial color right there. Here's a grass brush tip. It's kind of paints in grass based upon the initial color. Let's change our color here to a little more yellow. There we go. And a different grass tip. There it is, just painting in some different effects using these different brush styles. I'm going to pull this over just a little bit like that because it gives us a little more space. So we have all these different texture brushes as well. Lots of things to choose from. If, you, if this isn't enough for you, you can go even further. Click on this drop down list and there's a whole long list down here. It goes clear off screen of a bunch of other brushes that you can come in. Let's take a look at natural brushes too, for instance. Let's add this to our list. Append adds those to the bottom of the list. And here's a bunch of additional brushes right there. Let's just take a look at this one. There you go. Interesting little different brush effects. So whatever you can think of, you actually probably will find a brush that can do that for you. And with a little bit of practice, a little bit of experimentation, you find that you can do some real painterly things in here using these different specialty brushes. Again, the top brushes up here, these are your standard brushes. You'll be mostly be working up in here. Down below that we have some regular paintbrush style brushes. And then below that we get into these texture brushes and then the specialty brushes down below that. So that's a look then at the brush presets and also the brush. And again, whenever you choose any brush, you can always come in here and then modify how that brush works in all these different settings down here. We'll be looking at brushes again a little bit later on. I'll show you how to do some more customization and how to actually create your own texture brush in a later video. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.